The overall goal of the following procedure is to show how normalization of cell architecture and position achieved on specific adhesive micro patterns allows easy automation of image acquisition and straightforward image processing with sensitive and robust quantification of drug effects, which is unattainable on conventional glass cover slip supports. This is achieved by seeding HeLa cells on Psi2 chips that bear L-shaped Psi3 labeled micro patterns. The cells adopt a triangular shape, building a major stress fiber spanning the two ends of the L. The patterned cells are next incubated with levastatin or left untreated, then fixed and stained to visualize the actin cytoskeleton and nuclei. Images of the micro patterned cells are then acquired and processed using the CellRef macro to generate a stack of images for analysis and the hypotenuse macro to quantify phenotypes. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show a significant effect of low doses of blebistatin on micropatterned HeLa cells, which is undetectable in standard cell culture conditions. Hi, welcome at SciTi. We're here today to walk you through our experimental protocol, explaining how to use adhesive micropatterns for cell analysis, as well as showing you experimental data illustrating the uh, easy quantification of very low doses of drugs on these adhesive micro patterns. So when first seeing these adhesive micro patterns, you will immediately understand how it can solve variability issues in image capture during cell analysis, because by having a regular array of cells, much like a microarray, you can easily move the microscope stage from cell to cell to be able to capture images in a stepwise fashion. But that, of course, is not the only advantage of micropatterns. 